2021 Acura TLX, courtesy of Bobby Ray Hall Acura in Mechanicsburg, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box. Redesigned for the 2021 model year, and this is the quickest, best handling sedan Acura has ever made in existence. And power plant is going to be the same. Powering the new TLX is going to be a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out 272 horsepower at 6,500 RPM, 280 pound feet of torque available from the power band of 1,600 to 4,500 RPM, sent to front wheels or all wheels through a 10 speed automatic with paddle shifters, which you guys know we will be testing out in a little bit here. Zero to 60 time on this one comes in at approximately 6.5 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 22 in the city, 31 highway for the front wheel drive, 21 city, 30 on the highway for the all wheel drive configuration. And the TLX, well, essentially that one is gonna be powered by a three liter turbocharged V6, putting on approximately 350 horsepower, 350 pound feet of torque. Numbers wise, my guesstimates probably zero to 60 in approximately 4.5 seconds. MPG numbers, I'm gonna guess 20 city, 29 highway. None of these numbers are out, so I'm just taking a stab at it. But anyways, again, Type S coming in the summer. But before we do any kind of paddle shifter test here in our A-Spec TLX, I did wanna mention there are some drive modes. And that drive mode button is labeled Dynamic Select. It is located front and center, just above the drive buttons. And that's gonna include comfort, normal, sport, and individual, essentially adjusting things like the throttle response, shift points, the and so up front, you will find 13 inch ventilated front discs in the back, 13 inch solid rear disc. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, it's gonna be plenty fine. There's really no brake pedal delay or anything like that. It just doesn't stop quite as quickly as some of the other competitors. So touching on suspension and handling, up front, you're gonna get a double wishbone type front suspension. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, considerably lower and wider than the previous generation. Exterior color name here. Let's go ahead and start up front on this one. When dual eye LED headlights do come standard on every single trim level. That's wonderful, even the base trim level. Automatic feature, of course, coming with those headlights, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there. One less thing you gotta worry about, LED daytime running lights also coming standard with that as well. Did wanna also mention, since we have the A-Spec today, A-Spec package actually adds dark chrome lighting details. You guys can see that found in the bezels of the headlights there, and LED fog lights down below low as well surrounded in a gloss black perimeter another thing i wanted to mention to you guys taking a look down at the bottom here you guys could see that large intercooler found just below love that it looks so freaking cool down there also you guys could see the front emblem here they kind of tied it in with that front grill that is actually where you're going to have the adaptive cruise control system set up and i'll get more into that when i cover safety in the video but that is why acura chose to do it that way as opposed to that standard front emblem kind of look that you're typically used to seeing a vehicle so that's why that's there but now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of the tlx here and so this look on the side is going to differ slightly depending upon the trim level that you go with once again for example chrome window surrounds coming with the standard technology and advanced packages however with the a spec that you're looking at right now you do see black window surrounds you will get some more black accents with the a spec a little more aggressive design there i guess you could say also you could see that a spec badging on the front fender as well it's another accent that's going to be added with this package when it comes to those side mirrors though power adjustable heated side mirrors with reverse tilt down feature coming standard on all trims of course the reverse tilt down meaning when you put the vehicle in reverse is going to tilt down so you're less likely to run over a bicycle or whatever that's why that's there for you led integrated turn signals also coming standard with those as well and again since we have the a spec they will be finished in gloss black and so another thing i wanted to mention to you guys since we are around the side you guys can notice there is no rubber seams found on the top of the tlx like there are in just about every single other vehicle out there it's such a much cleaner look i will say say as opposed to those rubber seams going down the roof of other vehicles so I do absolutely love that Acura did that with the TLX as well there then take a look down at the wheel setup 18 by 8 inch multi-spoke alloys coming with the standard package 19 by 8.5 inch alloys coming with the technology a spec and advance and so the design for those three are going to differ slightly but the size and the width are going to be exactly the same it's so, but now since we are around back of the TLX gloss black rear spoiler again just for the a 
spectrum level that we have today. LED taillights actually come standard across the board. That's always nice, even on the base trim level, a little better visibility there. A spec badging found on the bottom lower left hand corner of the TLX. And on the other corner, you're going to have that SHAWD super handling all wheel drive if the TLX that you got is currently equipped, I should say. Then of course, just below it all, you do have some gloss black accenting with the A-Spec package to the sides, dual exhaust outlets, very large dual exhaust outlets, I will say, with chrome tips. So I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. Now, since we are around back, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, the best way to go about opening it, there's actually a button integrated into the passenger side tail light. It's integrated very well. You almost can't even spot it unless you know it's there, of course. But that is the way I would open this trunk 100% of the time. It's so freaking cool. Of course, there's a button on the key fob itself, and there's a button on the driver's side door as well. So a few different ways to open it up. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 13.5 cubic feet. Of course, if that was not enough space for you, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down, giving you quite a bit of extra space back there. Then make our way to the rear legroom. That's going to come in at 34.9 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. Rear center armrest with cup holders can also be found for those rear passengers back there as well. And there is actually rear ventilation for them as well. And if you wanted heated rear seats, simply go with the advanced package. That is the one and only way you can get heated rear seats that is pretty cool it's always nice spoiling the rear passengers back there the only thing i was looking for that i did not find for those rear passengers is some charging ports i wouldn't have minded seeing some usb charging ports back there perhaps but then make our way to the front seats 12-way power adjustable front seats with power lumbar come with the standard package they will come with leatherette finishes for that standard package as well and the front seats will be heated then if you jump up to the technology package you will get a milano premium leather finish a little better leather quality there and the a spec is actually going to add to that ventilated front seats and a suede leather combination that is currently what you were looking at right now so for the most part the suede is just the black portion in the middle of the seating all the rest of it is going to be that leather finish but then when it comes to the advanced package that is going to in addition to all of that add 16 way power adjustable front seats with the power lumbar of course but also power thigh extensions and power side bolsters as well the side bolsters one that is the piece that I absolutely love because side bolsters you can tighten them to better help hold you in place around the turns and for a car like the TLX that's a big plus. Then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped for every single trim level and it does come with a flat bottom if you were to go with that A-Spec package. And that A-Spec, of course, insignia is at the bottom portion of that steering wheel as well. And it is a perforated leather steering wheel as well. So another big plus for this one. And you can actually get a heated steering wheel if you were to go with the advanced package then. But so now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Acura logo on the one side and when you flip it over, lock, unlock, and that button to pop the rear hatch there. But it is essentially all keyless entry with a push button start for every single trim level. So all I'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee there. And so, but then once started up, those gauges will do a full sweep. And again, I'm going to keep saying it because I love it. RSX inspired gauges, at least that's what I'm taking it as. It looks absolutely amazing. In the center, you will find a digital gauge cluster giving you a ton of different things you could scroll through by using the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side of the steering wheel there. It's going to give you things like a large digital speedometer if you wanted it, your oil life, meaning when you need to get your next oil change, also your driver attention level. There's some safety information up there, radio information, the list goes on. And of course, the digital portion of the gauges will change slightly dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in as well. So quite a bit going on within the digital setup, including the speed limit actually of any given road in the upper right hand corner there too. So I love seeing that. But let's now go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. First thing I always like to mention, power and moonroof actually comes standard on every single trim level. 
love that. That is something that a lot of times they just put on upper trim levels. So that's pretty cool. Dual zone climate control coming standard on every trim as well. You will find brushed aluminum trim throughout this one. There is an auto dimming frameless rear view mirror that I am looking at right now. And by the way, that comes standard once again for every single trim level, including home link controls for up to three different garage doors found on the bottom portion of that rear view mirror. Again, every single trim level is going to get that. You gotta love that. Ambient lighting can be found on the technology package and up, that's pretty cool. Wood trim is going to replace the brushed aluminum trim that is going to be found on the advanced package if you wanted that. Stainless steel pedals are going to be specific to the A spec. That is what you were looking at right now. I absolutely love that. Of course, there's the blue cover over the brake pedal in case anybody's wondering why that's blue, but stainless steel pedals are definitely very cool. And overall, when it comes to interior quality, I actually really, really like it. There's a lot of red stitching accenting the black leather in this one. And of course the red stitching goes with the red leather seats that we got here. Everything feels very high quality. You do have a wireless phone charger located just to the left of the cup holders. Of course you got cup holders, I don't need to mention that. And within that center armrest, you do have a good bit of storage, including a separate place for change. There's a couple USB charging ports, 12 volt power outlet, and an auxiliary port within that as well. And there's actually an overhead sunglass holder above my head there as well. So overall interior quality is plenty fine. I would have loved to have seen a C tech display, front and center, 10.2 inch color display coming with all trim levels, Bluetooth and audio streaming coming with that, Android Auto, Apple, CarPlay once again for every single trim level, meaning simply hook your smartphone up to the TLX via USB cable and you have free navigation displayed up on that tech display. No wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay quite yet for the TLX. I'm sure it'll be coming soon though. Factory navigation system is going to come standard on all trim levels, but the standard. That's kind of funny saying it that way. <laughs> and of course you can check out your radio information up there as well. And so with the sound system, it is going to differ substantially dependent upon the trim level that you go with actually. For example, the standard package is going to give you 10 speakers. Technology package is going to give you 13 speakers. And the A spec and advanced package is really where you're gonna to wanna to be at when it comes to the sound system, giving you a 17 speaker ELS studio sound system. So this one, I've read about it. I've watched videos. I have a feeling it's going to be amazing. I want to test it out for myself though. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out this ELS 17 speaker sound system that we do indeed have here today. <laughs> I'm speechless. Oh my gosh. That is one of the best sound systems I have tested in quite a while. I've always typically, I say Bowers and Wilkins is my favorite. That came dang close to it. If not tied it right there. That is the best sound system I have heard. in maybe the last 300 vehicles that I've tested that for that was I was breathtaking. That ELS sound system is absolutely 100% on point. I want that in my car. That was incredible, quite honestly. It's worth it. Go with the A-Spec or Advanced because that sound system was beautiful. Anyways, I'm gonna try to get over that sound system. Last thing I wanted to mention on that tech display is when you do put the TLX in reverse, there is a rear view camera for every single trim level. You'll also get a surround view monitor if you were to go with the Advanced package at least. That's gonna give you that bird's eye 360 degree camera so you can see everything completely around you. And as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, Front side side curtain airbags do come standard. Driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Rear child door locks back there, tire pressure monitoring system. That's all the boring safety features, quite honestly. There is definitely a cool, cool feature once you get used to it. Lane keep assist as well, a road departure mitigation system, traffic jam assist, traffic sign recognition, forward collision warning, lane departure warning, and automatic high beams as well, like I said, a ton of advanced safety features with the TLX. But in addition to that, the technology package and up is also going to add